Welcome back to the Pet Show, everybody. So studies show that half, can you believe that? Half of all dogs have some degree of noise phobia. But how can you help them? Telling us about a simple solution is pet living expert Kristen Levine and Trixie, a three-year-old <laughs> female Austrian, Australian shepherd mix, who is doing great Isn't right now. Isn't she beautiful? She is wonderful. So yeah. she is a little um, a little rescue pup. She's she a foster is. She's pup. currently in foster care with a wonderful lady, and um, but we've got to find her a forever home. Yeah. She's about three years old, and um, we really don't have a background about her. Okay. So she's a little bit nervous. This is her first television debut. Yes. <laughs> I understand. I understand. But and she, she's with our friends at Lost Dog and Cat Rescue Foundation. Exactly. We're big fans of them. Yes. A local group. Um, and she's a really nice size, too, Dr. She Katie. She's is. about 40 pounds, full grown, obviously. Oh. And just a sweet nature, sweet dis disposition. And she's actually in foster care living with another dog, too. Okay. So she does get along so we know well with dog some friendly. other dogs. That's yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. So, um, you know, the noise phobia thing. I, I think mm -hmm. that this is an interesting thing because, you know, my dog, Poppy, my big guy that most of our or viewers know um, he just turned 10 and his whole life pretty much he was completely mm -hmm. fine until about two years ago yep all of a sudden thunderstorms flip him out right um, so it's not even something that they necessarily have to have when they're young this is something right. you can start as they're older as well so exactly. what, did they, what did you guys do well, to address this I, I think that uh, that what your experience is pretty common mm -hmm. I had the same situation with my dog Chili he's mm -hmm. t he's six and it was only last year that he started exhibiting signs of thunderstorm phobia mm -hmm. and even a small degree of separation anxiety yeah. so um, I started working with a wonderful company called Calms mm -hmm. because they've developed an all-natural non-invasive drug-free solution to canine anxiety mm -hmm. and it's the first product that combine I'm gonna let you hold it that combines it vibration it, it will actually <laughs> <laughs> it combines uh, vibration with music and tones if you hold it up to your ear you can hear it oh of course of course dogs can hear it a lot yeah. better than we can but what it does is when you place it in this comfy vest, and, and Trixie's actually wearing the, the comms uh, unit right now, mm -hmm. it lay, it's positioned on their spine mm -hmm. on some um, acupressure points, and the vibration increases blood flow to the brain and calms their do the dogs down. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a brand new product, and we've been testing it with board certified veterinary behaviorists who mm -hmm. deal with a lot of serious yeah. noise anxiety separation anxiety yeah. and they're seeing uh, positive results in 70 percent of the dogs wow. that they're treating so it's it's very promising mm -hmm. and i know a lot of pet parents are looking for natural solutions yeah. and Absolutely. there's probably hundreds of them yeah. on the market and this is this is a new one that that we just wanted to let people know about because with this being back to school time mm -hmm. Veterinarians are going to start to see uh, a rise in separation anxiety cases because dogs who are used to spending the, the summertime home with family, now mm -hmm. their routine is suddenly changed. And yeah. as you know, yeah, our absolutely. dogs love routine, and when routine gets jostled, mm -hmm. it can be it can cause some Oh, some gosh, issues. I'm a creature of habit, too, so <laughs> I, I feel, I feel right, their pain. Right. Um, this is really cool, though, because it is mm -hmm. like, I'm going to put it up to my mic for a second. Yep. I don't know if they'll be able to hear the, the music in there. Uh -huh. But, um, but yeah, it's just very calm, very quiet, sort of classical-sounding music, sort right. of what you would hear if you're getting your nails done in yes. the spa. Yes, it's Beethoven, actually. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> And you know, and actually, music has been shown to have a calming effect on it on its own. Mm -hmm. um, there's a. I remember a few years ago when I had my previous dog had severe separation anxiety. I would play classical music for him, mm -hmm. and it would calm him down. Yeah. So, um, but I think what's really important, what what I would like for pet parents to take away today from today is to understand that when your pet is exhibiting symptoms of anxiety, mm -hmm. whether it's pacing or panting or hiding or, or vocalizing, understand that this it's a neurochemical reaction mm -hmm. that's happening in their brain and that they're literally terrified or very fearful mm -hmm. of whatever um, is triggering right. that fear whether they're it's not being naughty they're not being naughty <laughs> and it's and it's might sometimes be cute but it's really not cute yeah. because if it's if it goes untreated it can really lead to serious behavioral problems um, and even health issues so health people issues. want yes. to uh, find out more about calms where do they go calms.com and okay. it's calms with a z, calms with a z. <laughs> right. um, and if anybody wants to adopt our gorgeous little friend uh, Trixie who's laying here very calm yes, she, of her she calms. is Best. Uh, you can check out Lost Dog and Cat Rescue, whose uh, who's information we had up there. So, um, do they make these for humans? Uh, no, but you can use that, okay. Dr. Katie. Next, I'm I'll show you how. Put it right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for coming My on pleasure. today.